I have been working in my magazine idea playground. I have been painting pages and painting pages and painting pages. Now it's taken me a little bit longer because I am painting almost full pages. I am leaving some images. A lot of my pages are full pages and I have over 800 pages to paint. However, I have this magazine finished and this little section was in the Midwest Living but I took it out. In fact, it was in this magazine which I have done now. Yay! And I still have some pages in the last two magazines, the last three magazines to paint. But I would say I have probably about 60 to 75 pages left to paint. And I want to get all my pages painted before I start working officially in my book. But even painting the pages are inspiring me. Now, these sections here, you can see I had this I had this journal all glued together and it was giving me a problem. It was not glued properly. So I split the spine and I've been painting pages and I can see why the book was tearing apart because the more you paint these pages, especially since they're full, painting full pages, I'm not just doing a little paint on every page page I'm doing a lot of paint on every page and it is here's a perfect example it is really expanding the magazine and the poor spine just couldn't take it and the magazine started creeping out this way and it was not glued properly either so I am going to go back and I took this little section out because he was in here and he was just being, he was just adding bulk. So I am going to glue these together in sections. I have these sections done. I'm working on these. Then when I have all my sections glued together and I'm happy with how they're looking, then I will put a really nice spine on it. I think that that will repair this book adequately but oh my am I really excited to start working in this I am really excited about this project okay so I thought that I would just go ahead on camera and glue these sections together I have some strong book bands and my brother gave me some clamps here to use too so I think that I will have them held tight enough while I'm gluing it. So I'm going to work on that. I may go into a fast motion. And then when I'm finished, I'll come back and show you where it's at. <music> This must have been drying for a couple days. So I am pretty confident that it has had adequate time to dry. It looks like it's going to work so far. I like how the pages are turning. I don't see anything splitting apart. It seems to be holding quite nice. So I am going to go ahead and put the next section in. And this is a Capper's Farmer. It is a little bit smaller magazine. And I will be putting it right in here.
happy with this. This magazine is going to be a little bit wider anyway. I'm okay with that. They seem to be lined up okay here. So I'm going to go ahead and set this aside to dry, if not overnight, a uh, day and a half. I'm going to let it dry really good. I have the last two sections here. And I'm still painting pages in this one. I'm really happy with how the pages are coming out, though. This one is all finished. So I can continue working in this one while this one's drying. And I'll glue these two together. And then I'll glue these two to these two. <music> It is now the next day, and this is all dried in here, so I'm going to take these clamps off. Take the little hard boards off. This is the back of the journal, the bottom of it. And these are all glued together. Very nice. I still have the rubber band on it here. Let's take this big rubber band off. Very happy with it. Now what I want to do is glue the bottom of it to the front of it and I'm going to have to cut off one of these and I think I'll trim this one off. the magazines glued together and I think I'm very happy with them. They are nice and even and I have this cheesecloth on the back. So what I'm going to do now is put another really thick layer of glue on this and double the cheesecloth back over it so that it has a lot of bulk on there and then after I do that, and I'm going to let that dry, so there's a lot of dry time between my steps here. After that dries, then I'm going to come back and trim this off and put a nice strong spine on it. <laughs> cleaned up the edges here. I glued the cheesecloth down and trimmed off the top and the bottom and then I went ahead and painted it. Now this glue in here is still a little bit tacky but that's okay. I have a sturdy piece of cardboard. I don't want it too stiff. I want it flexible and I'm going to put that right here. 
I'm not concerned about it being nice and neat because I am going to cover it with this tape again. I have E6000. I've used all my Aileen's Tacky Glue. So I'm just going to use as much glue as possible. <laughs> Will it hold? I'm certainly hoping so. So I think that I am going to kind of gave it a, a gold hue to it. Just like that. Yeah. I'm liking that. <music> to let this spine dry a little bit more. I'm going to balance it this way off camera and let the weight of this book fall on the spine here and just leave it overnight. And then I'll work in it tomorrow. Let me close this up. But my pages, do you want to see the pages? I finished painting all these pages. I cannot wait. Let's get it up here a little far. I cannot wait to start working in this book. This is really going to be fun to work in. I pick a lot of inspiration from the advertising. Like, it's 10 a.m., do you know where? <laughs> this was two Midwest Living magazines and three Capper's Farmers magazines. So, I did not start out with an art magazine, so I'm getting more photos and, and things like that. You'd see in a magazine rather than artwork. I'll create my own artwork, <laughs> so that's how I feel, but you do get inspired. Look, pumpkin, isn't that cool? Look at that cool. And I was able to draw the colors off of what was on the page on not on everything but on the majority of it plenty of blank pages to work from I just put that ink up here look tomatoes so I have an idea that I want to start out on I don't know if I will do the same thing throughout use the book for the same thing I may be doing two or three different projects in here, depending on where my first project goes. But yes, I'm, I'm very happy with this. So I feel like I'm just done with constructing the journal and fixing the spine and getting it ready to go. Now I get to, I built the playground. Now I get to run and play in it. This is such a fun project. I am really looking forward to working on these pages. I will see you on the next page.